Hello, everyone. Hoping you can hear me. Hi, welcome. It's so great to see all of you. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed that beat. That's from my uh, upbringing in Toronto. And uh, it's something that I can always turn to when I need a little boost. So um, keep the link on your on your tabs if you ever need it again. Um, welcome to our game. This is 100 ways uh, that we will think about the future together. And um, it's a game that uh, I learned about from the Institute for the Future in Palo Alto, California. And I felt like this was something we absolutely needed to do in this particular moment. So uh, I'm Janice Kudlip. I'm going to be hosting the game with my colleagues from the Policy Community Partnership Office, which is part of Canada's public service. And we are, um, our mandate is to convene and engage public policy practitioners in learning and the excuse me, the evolution of our collective practice. And uh, we know that the policy challenges we face together will require us, demand that we be creative, that we take a look at our assumptions, that we shift our mindsets to develop inclusive, user-centered options and deliver them thoughtfully. And we also know that the world we work in as public servants can be uh, a place where creativity can be really hard to cultivate and is sometimes actively discouraged. But I maintain there is always a way. And so by playing with you over the next three days, we will practice flexing our creativity muscles and find space that we can move into which is super important, especially um, given our current context. So together we are going to build this shared experience of imagining aspects of life in the future. We're going to practice shaking off the constraints of our current thinking and really stretch to feel uh, how we can imagine new, um, new opportunities, new possibilities and also strengthen our own feeling of agency. So I'm really excited about this game because you don't have to be a futurist to play. And the experience that you have and the interest that you bring is enough to get started. So even if you don't think you're an imaginative person, if you can picture what you're going to have for dinner tonight, then you have capacity to participate in this game. So uh, just a little bit about myself. Um, I'm really passionate about bringing people together. Community is what gives me joy and the potential I know is, is out there um, is something I'm really passionate about liberating when we bring people together to think differently, consider different perspectives, listen to each other, uh, and really free ourselves from sometimes the professional constraints to be playful and to play with new ideas. So what I really want to do with all of you uh, is create an experience where you can feel your own personal, personal agency when you feel stuck. So we're gonna do that a number of different ways. But first I wanna do a very low tech challenge with you that you will need a scrap piece of paper for and a pencil or pen or some kind of writing um, implement. So if you can take a second to search around for that, I'm going to ask you to draw five circles about five centimeters, three to five centimeters, depending on your size of your paper. So if you can start by doing that, I'll give you 20 seconds. If you want to do it on your technology, you're free to do that as well. Okay, you can show me your, your, your papers ready to go. Okay, so our challenge, this is really to get us thinking differently, is to, you're going to take these five circles and transform them into something different. So five different things that you're going to make this, these circle drawings into. And you have 30 seconds to do it. So the clock starts now.
Hope you're doing well. Keep going. Stretch your imagination. Oh, I'm stuck at number four. And Okay, how's everybody do? So um, I'm going to ask you to hold up your drawings. Yeah, and then James is going to take a couple of screenshots for us so that we can see how we did. What have you got there? Oh, I see faces. I see what look like maps, a peace sign, uh, a ball, a balloon that's falling down, uh, some animals, a snowman. That's awesome. I particularly like that being from Canada. Clocks, a couple of basketballs repeated. I have one of those. Sunshines, excellent. Good job, everyone. Okay, so now that we're flowing, let's get started with our game. So we're going to be using a tool called Miro, and I hope that uh, you have some experience with this, but don't worry if you don't. Uh, it is a uh, infinite whiteboard that you can draw on, but also use uh, sticky notes. And we've set up a board for you. Um, and this is where our gameplay will be over the next uh, 72 hours. And so not expecting you to stay up for 72 hours. This is not a hackathon. But what we wanted to do was make this experience um, as flexible as possible for you. So if your best working time is at two in the morning, wherever you are, go for it. <laughs> um, and uh, in the first 24 hours, we'll be trying to do the first step of the game all together, but I want people to move as freely as they can through the whole process. So um, we've made, made it long so that uh, you can really challenge yourself, to stretch creatively. And we have a couple of um, extra challenges and boosters for you about that. So this is really about like we have three really interesting topics that we're going to be working on. But this is really about the process of getting unstuck. So how can you push yourself to get a little bit more creative, um, especially if you are feeling constrained by by what is currently um, the modes of thinking that you're operating in. So I think I've covered everything that I needed to cover before we go into the board. So um, James, would you mind sharing the link with everyone? And we'll just all migrate there. So this tool, you can participate as a guest and you should be able to, oh, you, can you help Jo? She was not able to get in. Okay, there she is. I see her. Okay, great. Um, so you can operate as a guest in the Miro board, but if you create account, an account for free, then I think you can access some of the chat functionality, which will be really great for participating and, and engaging with the other players. So I leave that to you to decide if you want to do that. Um, but you should be able to play the game even if you are just as a guest. So if everyone can go into the board, then I'll walk you through how this is going to work. And our very first challenge for our gameplay. Wow, it's so exciting. I can see all of you zooming around. <laughs> That's really fun. Okay, so just one second. What we want to do, our very first challenge is to check in and share with each other who is here. So I want you to follow the instructions, click on the uh, sticky notes, and if there are not enough, please feel free to add one of your very own. Your tools are on the left hand side of uh, the Miro um, board. And I would love you to sign in, share your name, share which country you're in, so that we can see who was here. That's a little artifact from our time together. So I'm going to give you 20 more seconds to do that. Uh, 
I have to take a picture of this because it's really, really cool. <laughs> if you're having, yeah, thanks, James. If anybody's, I was just going to offer the same thing. If you're having difficulties, message James. <laughs> He'll be happy to, to help you out. Okay, super great. So uh, not to worry if it's coming out as a con comment uh, instead of writing on the sticky note, that's no problem. Um, and I think there is also, uh, you should be able to access some, some chat um, icons if you need to message us or you're having difficulty. So you can also just grab a sticky note from the sidebar and put a note on it if you, if you need um, further instructions or difficulty, if you're having difficulty. You could also just Write it in the chat on the Zoom and we'll add you to the board. I'm gonna give us about 15 more seconds for this. Don't panic because you'll be able to do it uh, once we've explained the game. This will be the place you can come back to if you uh, aren't clear about instructions or um, you, you need a refresher or to get in touch with us. Okay, John, I see you're hovering on a sticky note, but I don't know why it won't let you write on it. So we'll figure that out. <laughs> so I, I want to also celebrate all of you being adaptable and trying a new thing <laughs> and overcoming any frustrations you might be having with the tool. Can be a little finickety, but um, we'll, we will persevere. So I'd like to move us on to the next board if people are okay with that, which will explain, which is actually one of the things we want to try to use to get a baseline of how people are feeling in terms of their creativity, their optimism, and their feeling of agency now versus at the end of this game. So one of the things that we do with the Policy Community Partnership Office is um, introduce new kinds of experiences that um, policy practitioners may not have ex um, had exposure to before and test them out uh, so to, we can see what's effective for people. So if this is something that d does indeed enable people to feel more creative, more optimistic, and uh, feel a sense of agency, then we would like to repeat it. So um, you're going to be all um, hopefully willing participants in this, in this experiment. So I'm going to shift us to uh, the next frame, which is to your right, if you're on the Miro board. And you should be able to see um, the uh, selection of stickies that have stars on them. And that is our very simple scale of one to five. One being lowest, five being highest. And I'm going to open up a voting session where you can tell us where you are feeling right now. So how creative are you feeling? Are you feeling like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. I, I can be fairly creative or maybe no, this is really uncomfortable for me. Uh, you can let us know that. Are you feeling positive and optimistic about um, your, um, the future and, and what we're going to be talking about today? And then do you feel that you have influence over future? So are you feeling that you personally or where you are working or um, where you participate in your community, um, you feel like you do have the impact or you can have an impact. So I'm going to open up the voting now. Um, I'd ask you to each use one vote for each, um, each 
aspect. So one for creativity, one for optimism, and one for agency, and you'll have two minutes to do that. So I think you can just select the sticky that re best represents where you're at right now, and, uh, and then vote for it. So the time is starting. It should, it should already have started. Janice, I'm a bit slow. Could you explain how I'm meant to vote? Sure. Yeah, no worries. Um, so what you're meant to do, and maybe it's not working because it's not activated yet, but here we go. So uh, do you see a, a vote now? Um, do you see something on your tr a voting session open up? Yes. Okay, great. So um, you should be able to now go on uh, the sticky that best represents how you're feeling and, um, and add a vote for it. Then you press vote, um, you press done voting when you've allocated your three. And we should see group re replies. And I thank all the people in advance who tested this with me. I'm hopeful that um, it's going to work, but we'll see. I, I noticed that I have voted on a single star. <laughs> so. Okay, some people have only two votes. I am, that's strange. Okay. We're going to learn a lot from this session. Um, if you weren't able to attribute all of your votes, uh, I can try resetting this or you can simply put in the chat uh, where you feel that you are and uh, message it to me directly and we'll add them. Thank you for doing that. So uh, Naomi, you're having difficulty on the screen. See that. Strange that um, We'll have only two votes. That's very odd. Learning every day. Okay, so our imperfect metrics <laughs> for this session. Okay, we'll take a look at the results. Uh, what I'd like to do is progress a little further in the board and then if we have time we can come back to this and, and re- I'll retry so that everybody has a chance to get in. Okay, uh, so now I had wanted to chat with me about needs. So um, we're going to have a lot of players and I realize not all the players have the same circumstances. Um, and so uh, because the game is long and we will move from phase to phase, um, uh, over a period of time, uh, I had a question of whether people wanted to have a, a reminder email throughout the game. So in this case, I would work with our States of Change uh, colleagues to make sure that um, I have a, an email list of all the players and I can notify you as we move uh, from, from part one into part two and part three. And that way you will have the link to come back uh, and and reconnect with all of the boards. So if that's something you would like to, to have happen, you can just let me know there. Or if it's something you definitely don't want, you should also let me know that. Maybe it's better if you just definitely let me know you don't want that, because I don't want to flood you with emails. Um, the other thing is we do have the capacity to go from French to English. So if you want to participate in the language of your choice, uh, the second or no, in another official language from Canada, which is French, or if French is your um, first language, uh, we can help um, with your interaction with the game uh, so that you can participate in the language of your choice. So that is something we can definitely offer as well. 
And then if you would like to play with someone, so if you would like us to match you with some another player in the game based on your interests uh, in order to just increase your experience and, and um, have a, an interaction with someone you haven't met yet, um, that is also something we would love to do for you. So feel free to add that also to the group chat and we'll, we will make sure we facilitate that for you. Just want to also mention, as I said in the very beginning, that where this game comes from and the inspiration uh, for us to play today comes from the Institute for the Future, which is in Palo Alto, California, uh, which has a really awesome mission um, and uh, a favorite person uh, for me is Dr. Jane McGonigal, who is a, a game designer um, turned futurist. And uh, she is someone who is trying to increase the future's um, thinking skills uh, as broadly as she can through lots of learning initiatives and programs, but um, also through activities like this. So uh, she's, this is where the inspiration for our play comes from. And if you're interested in learning more, I would very much encourage you to go uh, to their web pages. There's lots of resources there. And um, I'd be happy to share that and other uh, resources in some of those emails about the game later so that you will have them. Excellent. So you can keep adding to that section, but I'm gonna ask James to move us to the next part about how to play. So you really need to know how this game works. It's actually super simple. So what we're going to do, we've, co we've collected three topics um, for our conversation today and for the next few days that I think will have appeal no matter what country you're from. Uh, and you would follow the link. We'll get to that in a few minutes. Um, our challenge for the first part of our play is to gather and share 100 facts about our topic. And they can be super obvious facts, but things that are generally true. So we're not going to be super analytical about whether the fact that you add is 100% uh, true all of the time, but a generally true uh, from your experience will be sufficient. And we collect 100 facts, or we aim to collect 100 facts, as a real stretch for us to think about our topic uh, and all the things we take for granted about it. So we want to um, surface all of those or as many of those as we can. And so I'd like us to spend the next 24 hours gathering those facts, uh, getting as close as we can to 100, uh, and we'll be celebrating milestones along the way. And then the second step that we will move into uh, tomorrow will be flipping those facts 10 years in the future. So we transport ourselves in our imagination 10 years into the future to 2020 when these facts are no longer true. So the opposite is true. And then the third phase is how, um, how did we get there? So that's where our creativity is really gonna come into play. So I'll just mention that it is, uh, thank you for, for that Briani for letting people know that you can shut off uh, the cursors of, from your colleagues if it's getting overwhelming and you can't see uh, what you're trying to do. And so that's just on the settings bar um, at the top of the screen. It looks like three small sliders next to the share button. So there you go. Okay, um, so recap. We're trying to collect 100 facts about the three topics that we have chosen. We're going to transport ourselves in our imaginations 10 years into the future to 2030 when the opposite of those facts are true. And then we'll tell the story of how it came to be that those flipped facts are true. That's where we want to hear your ridiculous suggestions um, and also your thoughtful, well, ridiculous things can also be thoughtful. Um, but how, how did we get there? What are the circumstances um, based on what we know of the big forces that are driving change in, in our communities? 
So I've given you an example. So when we go to the boards, it will look like uh, a mind map. And I've shown you an example there uh, with the topic of shoes. So an example of a fact of shoes is that people have multiple pairs. Flipping that fact, people will only have one pair of shoes in 2030. And then potential futures or potential reasons for why that may be are that it's become socially unacceptable or it's at least socially encouraged to reduce consumption or our shoe technology has advanced so much that we can uh, have a single pair of shoes that's adapted to any situation with interchangeable parts. So there's an example. Before we go over to the topics, which I know you're all dying to hear about, I just want to let you know that you can access boosters and challenges. So if you're really interested in amping up your play over the next three days, we have a few little uh, additional challenges that you can take on. And we have some additional exercises that you could do if you're feeling stuck. So ways that you can shift your thinking and your imagination to reveal new possibilities. So if you come back to this welcome board throughout your play, click on either one of these buttons on this um, board, they will take you to my email address and I'll connect with you and provide you with some additional work. Now is the time to move to our selected topics. We've selected for you and you can play on any of these boards and every board, depending on how much time you have to share. Uh, the first is the future of shared experiences. And you can click on that, uh, those words to travel to a new board where you can enter into the discussion and 100 facts about that. The second one is sharing power with citizens. For us in North America, that's a very timely discussion, uh, but I would love to hear um, what everyone has to say, and that can go in many different directions. The third one is about income supports. So for us in Canada, this is a lively discussion, uh, and I'm sure it is in other places as well. But as James is demonstrating for you, you click on it and a link appears, and that will take you to a third, another Nero board where you will have special discussion about that particular topic. You'll be looking at a mind map that resembles the one I just showed you about shoes, and you'll be able to add your particular facts and flipped facts and imaginative stories about how we got there in the future. So I hope you're all ready to play. Uh, if there's something that is super confusing, please um, reach out to me. Uh, James is going to um, be handling the Zoom call, but I can help you throughout the game. Um, my colleagues and I from the Policy Community Partnership Office will be in and out of the boards over different periods of time over the next three days uh, to engage with you, um, maybe elaborate your thinking a little bit, or if there are some things that are similar um, that we want to, to just make sure we're understanding, um, we'll be reaching out to you. Uh, I hope, I, I'm glad, Medina, that you're excited to play. I hope that's generally the feeling. Um, it will get tough, uh, and I really want you to lean into that toughness and tell us um, in our wrap-up session uh, at, on Thursday what it was that um, was a really interesting moment for you where you overcame some of that stuck feeling. So just a note about that, it would be great if you also register for the part to a Zoom call uh, on the States of Change website. So that is something that you will be able to do. I should also mention that on each of the boards of the topics, there's a return button. So you can come back to this welcome board and find all the explanations about how to play uh, and links to reach out to me uh, 